Hey, I'm Laura, and recently I got the opportunity to go to Texas and visit the set of the hit series The Chosen. Ahead of season three, I spoke with some of the cast and crew of the series to get their thoughts on the new season and what it's like playing such iconic figures. I hope you enjoy. Amber, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Your character, Tamar, tell us a little bit about her and her role so far in The Chosen, but also where she's going in season three. Okay, so my name is Amber and I play Tamar in The Chosen, and she was introduced in season one, episode six, Indescribable Compassion. And um, the plan, and Dallas said it himself, is that she was supposed to come in and do this episode and that'd be it for her. So she came in and she was the friend of the, um, the paralyzed, paralytic man that lured, she lured him through the roof. And she was so captivated and so um, moved by the experience that unlike most women in her time, she started going around and preaching on stages mm -hmm. um, to share the story of the Messiah, which honestly for a Gentile, that's, that's unheard of um, to begin with. And uh, Dallas was like, you know, I'm gonna bring you back. And so I was really <laughs> excited to hear that. And in season three, what we're gonna see is the dynamic of this Gentile with a group of Jewish people, and um, not only just the Jewish people, but um, the women. Mm. It's about the women this season. And so what does that mean, the dynamic? Because you know, as women, we carry so much, not only our own burdens, but everyone else's. And so we're gonna see the challenges that play out between Tamar trying to belong mm. here and what that means for everyone else. Is that part of the reason you think Dallas wanted to bring your character back to talk about some of those specific you know, aspects of her character, I suppose? I, you know, I, I, I hadn't had a chance to ask him, but I really do think that um, they have such an eye, Dallas, um, Ryan, and Tyler, for storytelling. And sometimes I wonder if Amanda, Dallas's wife, has any hand in it because <laughs> the, it's, it's very rare that you have um, a story well told from a woman's point of view that's written by a man. Um, not that it's impossible, but it's mm. just normally it's not full as in full and uh, all encompassing um, as a as a female experience is. But I think what they did with that is that th in the Bible it says that there were many women followers and supporters, mm. and they were the ones that that financially also uh, took responsibility for the ministry as well, keeping that afloat. And I think he saw an opportunity to let Tamara, who is loud and proud and ambitious to be kind of like the forerunner of that and yeah. you get to see her and put on her mini hats this mm. season and you also get to hear a lot about who she is and why she's there in the first place. Right and it is pretty exciting as you say to have the opportunity to do that to yes. bring a story like this a woman like yes. this onto the screen and expand the parts of her that we get to see what did it mean to you to actually be part of bringing that to life? Well, as a storyteller, as an actor, that's what we all want, is we want an opportunity to like delve deep into a character and have an arc and let it go someplace and, 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 and feel. Um, and for me, it, it was like um, something I, I never really had before because often I'd come on to my job and go, and this was like a, a, a real opportunity to breathe a life into someone else's idea. Mm -hmm. And not just someone else's idea, but of an idea of someone who existed at some point in time, maybe not um, named by name in the Bible, but that existed. And it's such a responsibility as well, because you want to make sure that you give it the honor that it deserves and the respect that it deserves. But it's been a challenge. It's been one of the greatest challenges of my career, especially some yeah. of the scenes that we've had to do for season three mm. have challenged me as an actor and as a human being. And I'm really excited for, for folks to see how that plays out because it's, it's so beautiful. And I think when they see season three, they're going to be like, that's me. Mm. That's my mom. That's my sister. That's my brother. It's my husband. And just feel so much more connected. Can you give us any hints about what some of those scenes might be? Or are they all of I mean, it's, it's kind of what I said before. What we're going to see is we're going to see the dynamic that happens when two very different worlds come together and have to work together for the good of something else, mm. which would be the ministry. And so, uh, it's like I said, it's a lot of uh, female power, empowerment going on in season three. And we're going to see how that plays out between the women how they handle those challenges mm. of working together <laughs> yeah. or not. Yeah. Um, so that's gonna be really fun and it's also gonna be really beautiful as well because what that's gonna do is really require us as human beings and also the characters to really examine themselves and and what they do and the reason why they do it mm. and just how that plays out is just 
so magnifique. It's yeah. like <laughs> everything goes a little bit deeper by the sounds yeah. of it, which yeah. I like. And I think there's something about each of the characters we see that, of course, helps us see something more about Jesus and yeah. learn something more about his character. Yeah. By putting women in this instance more at the forefront, by going deeper into some of your stories, what do you think that teaches us about Jesus? Um, it's, it's just like what we show in the series is, is the whole point of it is that it reaches everyone. And it doesn't just belong to one group of people. It's not just for Christians, it's for everyone. And and because the whole human existence, what we want to do is to feel and connect with each other. And the Chosen gets that right. And so I love the fact, uh, I, I've, meant, I've said this before, is that when you tell a story truthfully, everyone's story gets told. And, and that's what the Chosen does. It, it doesn't leave the woman out. Because in a lot of faith-based films, it can get very gilded like you know it's all oh i had a rough life and now everything's better because i found jesus mm. well the chosen in season three what they're going to do is say now that i found jesus now that i know he's here let me show you that this road is not all sunshine and rainbows like there's mm -hmm. challenges that's the hardest part the easy part is i'm going to accept you the hard part is staying on the path right. and so we're going to watch that journey for each and every character and that, the, the chosen it's unique in a way that it's showing jesus the life of jesus through those around him. And now we're gonna see the challenges that come with making that decision and, and deciding to to make that your life and, and to mm. follow Christ. And um, oh, it's gonna get good. It's, yeah. I wish I, it's just, gonna, it's explosive, it really is. It's like it's gonna, it's, it's, it's like a bomb had been dropped, but like in the most beautiful way. Mm. And we get to, to watch characters grow and we get to watch them struggle. And also the chosen is also about triumph. So we get to see like the, the entire journey over season three. And a lot of the cast and crew have said that working on The Chosen is unlike other experiences, that there's something that makes you all like family. And, and of course you're dealing with subjects and characters that are so personally mm -hmm. meaningful to so many of the viewers. Yeah. Take us into the behind the scenes experience that you've had so far. What is it really like working on The Chosen? Well, all that's true. <laughs> and, 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 and it's true because as an artist, especially doing a show like this, you have to be incredibly vulnerable. And when you're incredibly vulnerable, you have to be able to trust the person that you're being vulnerable with. Because, especially in this industry, it needs to be a safe place for you to do that. Um, because we're not machines, you know. Um, and they make it so easy. I have incredible scene partners who are just so loving and kind. And, and, I, and I'm going to echo what they've said, is that I've never been a part of a show before where I come and it feels like I'm a family reunion or yeah. <laughs> like I'm, I'm coming back home and like, never in my life. And I can safely say that. And it's great because it, it, it transcends what we do on screen and it's off screen as well. We spend a mm -hmm. lot of time together, we're building bonds. And so what you see when you watch the show, that's real. When you see the love between them and the dynamic that goes on between the disciples, between Jesus, between the women, mm. that's real because that's something that we we built off screen as well. That's so good to hear. I love that. And I think it is something really special that the fans can also lean into as they've been with this show right from right from the get-go. Mm -hmm. For those fans who are going to watch, who are going to embrace this season, you know, yet again, yeah. what would you say to them? What do you hope they take away from it? I, I hope that you take profound connection from season three because, as I mentioned before, it's going to be a bombshell. Um, and not just in a way it's going to shock and, and awe and surprise, but in the way that you're going to feel so much more profoundly connected to the stories that are being told because I feel like they've taken um, quite a few risks in season three, telling stories that you don't often see, especially in faith-based films. Mm. It's, it's, it's usually either bypassed completely or they just barely brush the surface. And The Chosen dives right in, head first into it, and it's gonna tug at your heartstrings, you know? And it's, and it's raw and it's beautiful. And I got to see these, these incredible actors go through the journey of telling this story. So we put our heart and soul into this. Mm -hmm. And so we really, really hope that when, when they turn on that, um, that TV and they watch the first few episodes, that they're as captivated um, by watching it as, as blessed we were to make it. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. And we can't wait to watch it. So thank you so much for uh, telling us more about it, Amber. Really appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Next time, Elizabeth Tabish, aka Mary Magdalene, talks about how The Chosen makes scripture tangible. You read it and you're like, okay. And then you watch it and you're like, oh, this is, this is something. This is incredible, you know? And 
What used to require our imaginations is now sort of being imagined together.